10. We want persons to recognize that a lot is being done to minimize poor outcomes for mothers, their babies, their families, the society, St. Lucia by extension. Universal health coverage is aimed at ensuring that citizens of St. Lucia have access to affordable, equitable, and quality healthcare services without going through financial hardship. And this health initiative is something which I support and I believe that this is just the beginning of the health revolution in this country. Nine. Fourteen facilities on island have already been earmarked for the transition to solar energy as the Ministry of Youth Development and Sport seeks to reduce on the cost of electricity. The goal is to have all facilities within the next 15 years to, be, uh, to use re re renewable sources of energy. Eight. In a prestigious ceremony held in commemoration of World Bee Day, the Ministry of Agriculture paid tribute to visionary farmers and the key stakeholders who have been instrumental in propelling the apiculture sector forward. Apiculture for us is a major theme for funding in St. Lucia and for the OECS. And we will continue to support the government and people of St. Lucia in that respect. Seven. In order to prepare for the mammoth task of training 3,000 secondary school students and award them CVQs, a preliminary meeting was recently conducted by the Human Capital Resilience Project with all major stakeholders held at the Mount of Prayer in Kubarel. Through this project, the government is seeking to strengthen resilience of its population and address issues of poverty, vulnerability to shocks, youth unemployment. Six. St. Lucian mathematics professor based in the United States, Dr. Delia Samuel, has come up with the concept of a mathematics camp which will focus on students who need remedial instruction in the subject and teachers who need modern methods of teaching math topics that students find challenging to learn. It is time to unlearn practices which have not been beneficial to mathematical learning and teaching. Five. The Substance Abuse Advisory Council Secretariat is taking a step-by-step -step approach to addressing nicotine and tobacco dependence. We hope that as we go through the schools and speak to the students that, you know, they would see the importance of taking substances as a whole, that uh, making proper decisions, developing coping strategies for themselves, um, being able to overcome those, you know, their own stresses and difficulties that would probably lead them to try in a substance first. Four. Over 46 accountants representing all government agencies converged at the Finance Administrative Center in Point Seraph in Castries. The seminar, organized by the Accountant General's Department, seeks to update the knowledge and skills of government accountants to the International Public Service Accounting Standard. We have to report a balance sheet, a profit and loss statement, a statement of, of, of equity of the government and list down all of the, the loans and so on, the status of the loans and payables of the government. Three. On June 17th, 2023, six young ladies will vie for the title of Miss Sufra Carnival Queen 2023. Miss Cool Breeze Car and Jeep Rental, Kitel Symphoria, says as a creative, this pageant will afford her the avenue to hone her skills. I am very passionate about arts, uh, in particular dance. It is my form of self-expression and channeling my inner creativity. What I've been enjoying most about the, this experience is just really bonding with my fellow contestants. It's become a sisterhood. Two. World No Tobacco Day is designated by the World Health Organization to bring into sharp focus the impact of tobacco on health. From 1987, this observance has been held yearly on May 31st. The reason for its continued relevance is clear as we see many of our family members, friends, co-workers and loved ones develop chronic illness and even die as a result of tobacco use or exposure to second-hand tobacco smoke. One. We are observing Caribbean Nutrition Day every year on the 1st of June, which is followed by Caribbean Awareness Month. Caribbean Nutrition Awareness Month. 
and so we have activities throughout the month of June. We have some planned activities in the regions at the wellness centers we'll be, where the staff will be talking about nutrition and how it affects the mental, mental health.